welcome back to my channel. So it is now the season of festivals. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a must have hairstyle for the festival season. And I'm also going to be telling you what you cannot go without to a festival. So all your essentials that you need to take with you. So firstly, these are definitely what you need for a festival. I got both of these from New Look. First of all, I've got some sequins for your face. And then I also purchased these, which is hair glitter which is so cool, so we're going to be doing two space buns and add some glitter roots to it. So, first of all you want to part your hair in the centre, so you split your hair into two pieces. And obviously it is a festival, so it doesn't have to be crazy neat, and you're going to be adding glitter on the parton anyway, so don't worry about neatness. So you're going to bring it up and bunch it together, and then twist it, and just keep twisting it, as you go around and turn it into a little bun and then you're going to get a hair scrunchie and just put that in place and then before you start bobby pinning it just pull some bits out because you want it to be nice and messy so I've pulled some bits out at the side here and then obviously you can pull out the bun itself and make it as big as you like it to be get your bobby pins and just pin that all in so I'm going to pull some bits of hair out first and then twist it again and twisting it as you go around. Pinning that in place with a hair scrunchie. I'd wrap it around three times just for maximum hold because you're at a festival, you're going to be jumping about to music and having fun and just partying so you want it to be nice and secure. And then once you've done that, just pull it out again and make it nice and messy. And once you're happy, just pin it in. Okay, so that is my two space buns done. I wasn't quite happy with this side, so I just pinned it in a little bit more just to make it a bit more symmetrical. Because I'm going to be showing you my face jaws, I need to pin my fringe out of the way. Now to add the glitter to the roots, excited to try these. In New Look you can get two different styles of these, I've stuck with the Mermaid Sparkle which is obviously like your blues and greens but they also do a pink one which I think is like pink and silver. Um, but I'm just not a pink person so and I love mermaids obviously so I went with this. What I'm going to do is start off with the blue glitter first. What is great about these is that you have a tiny little applicator so you can get it nice and precise to your roots. Now I'm going to add this really pretty kind of pearlescent opal glitter. It's honestly so pretty and it goes on really easily. So now we're going to add the face jewels. Okay, so I was kind of hoping that it comes as like one and you just stick it all on, but it doesn't. You have to put it on all individually, um, which makes it a bit trickier, but I guess they probably last longer then. Okay, so I ended up kind of doing my own style. I also added just a couple either side of my eye because I had some spare because I didn't use them all. It looks really cool, I love it, and it goes awesome with the glittery roots. And I can feel the glitter's actually drying a bit now because it was really wet. Okay, so that is my festival look I created. I absolutely love it. Like, I want to go to a festival right now. And this outfit I got from New Look, it was £30. I just thought the tassels were brilliant for festivals. Tassels and pom-poms are all sort of in it at the minute. And I just love the colours and the high neckline. And it's just really comfortable to wear, which is what you want at a festival. You want comfort. I'm now going to move on to the essentials. 
and the must-haves that you need at a festival. But firstly, when you go to a festival, you will find out there isn't really showers. I mean, when I went to Fee Fest, I couldn't see showers anywhere, I didn't come across them. So you will definitely need something to wash yourself because you will start to feel really grubby. And obviously, you might meet people when you're there and you want to look your best. So everything I bought is from Boots, so I got these, they're some Femme Fresh Wipes. So they're great for obviously cleansing and washing your body. I also bought these wipes as well because you need to take your makeup off. And they are refreshing cucumber ones which I thought sounds quite nice for normal skin. They also do sensitive skin ones and different wipes. I think they're only a pound. And then another thing you will need is toothpaste and a toothbrush. I didn't go get my toothbrush but that is the toothpaste and I go for Oral-B and I've got the Glamorous Shine one. Another thing you will need is definitely take some toilet roll with you. There is toilet roll there, but not always. Obviously, having the glitter roots are great if you do have sort of dirty skin, because obviously it's your roots and your scalp that gets greasy first. But it's always good to be prepared, and I got some Petite Dry Shampoo. I went for the tropical one, so I thought it would smell nice for the festival. And it's just like a travel size one as well. And then lastly, this is new out. I think it is such a good idea so it's a venus gillette snap razor um so it's like a travel size one and i thought that was so good and perfect for festivals i got this in boots it's on offer at the minute they do one which is like completely pink which is 9.99 so 10 pounds or you can get this one which is blue with pink on so you have still got the pink in there and it's only five pounds at the minute so it's definitely worth getting so grab your one from Boots now whilst it's on offer. So yeah, they are definitely the essentials you need. Also good footwear like welly boots. I looked everywhere and I couldn't find any welly boots at the minute, which is a bit odd as it's festival season, but I guess it is summertime, so I don't know. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and also subscribe as well if you haven't already. I will see you next week with another video. Bye!